be on update on our little chicken house endeavor. Over here is the run that we had set up for the chicks when they were little bitty and this is the work we've been doing for the past couple weeks. You can see there we have patched the tin roof on the barn. We have uh, framed in the chicken coop and I'll get a little bit closer so you guys can see better what what all we did. We had to replace all the rafters up here and the stringers and everything like that up top. Let me show you. We replaced all of that. We used recycled tin because it was way cheaper, five bucks instead of uh, two dollars a foot. Um, we've got our biddies in here and our one broody mama. She's there. For the moment, we just have some uh, some five gallon buckets turned on their side with some hay inside of them. And we've got two waterers hung up. I'll probably um, might do something a little different with that. Today I made a little feed box for them, a little trough. And this is our latching system that we've got with a little string so you can pull on it and get out. I curled this uh, tin up, this sheet tin, and I snipped it on the ends and just bent it over so that it'd hold some food. And then I just used a little tack to tack uh, to tack it up there. And then Dad had this one out beside the barn uh, where he had his birds previously, and I found it, and so I put that in here. And that was what inspired the other one that we're doing. And this is just the waterer uh, that come off the brooder box, but it had a crack in it. And I thought, well, I could put food in that, and they would they'd be just fine with that. Now, for the time being. Uh, we've got just a couple of saw horses and a couple of two by fours up there for them to roost on because we're going to build a roost box yet or a roosting uh, shelf for them and we're going to build them some real nest boxes here probably oh probably won't happen tomorrow because it's Father's Day so it'll be next week before we get the the nest boxes done but I think I have an idea of what we want to do with them we're trying to decide if we want to get the rollback kind where the eggs roll out after the chicken lays or if we want to put uh, plastic rubber made sterilite type trays in their dish, dish pans. Um, and I think I like the dish pan idea because you can lift the dish pan out and clean it and hose it out and everything if an egg busts or something like that. And it's real nice and clean that way. But you can see our our little little bitty chicka peeps. They're doing really, really good. They're running around here and absolutely loving it. And I'd like to put an automatic door, maybe something solar powered out here, so that you can, um, they can get out and go and hunt and peck and scratch and forage and stuff like that. Because we've got fields and fields and fields of grassland out here, as you can see. Uh, we're talking about planting some corn out here to uh, attract the deer. Feed the deer really is what we do more than anything, even when we're trying to feed ourselves. Um, and these are Leghorn, Leghorn and uh, Rhode Island Red Mixes, so crossbreeds, uh, that we got from the FFA up at the school. And all this chicken wire that you see here, we did it right by our little selves. Um, we cut everything out. We made the door, me and my husband did. He's sitting out there in the truck chilling. Um, and all these little cross pieces, and he wanted to make it look like something from Minecraft, so that's why we painted it with the yellow and the, and the white. You can see where we, we put a little spring on there so it would stay shut. So even after the kids or I feed them, nobody can forget and leave the door open. So it will be uh, completely um, covered and everything. And it looks like we missed a spot right here with the paint. But I'll come back in here and touch it up in a, probably a uh, day after tomorrow. Because there's a couple spots here and there and yonder that I need to come in here and touch up. Where we've stapled the... Uh, chicken wire to it and it took some of the paint off and that sort of thing so I'll come back in here and touch that stuff up you can see a little bit if I bring it close where some of the staples have come through and I'll need to go back in and touch up um, we had this stubborn china berry tree and it has tried to take over this corner of the barn and it messed up the roof line and everything that's why we had to fix it and we just had to staple the wire right to the thing because uh, it did not want to be gone and it's trying to come back again you can see I think we've cut it down like four times and it just doesn't want to go nowhere. It likes it here. So anyway, um, so next week I might give you guys another update and we'll have a, ourselves a real roosting bar in here. We'll have um, some real nest boxes in here. But for right now we've got us, ourselves a, a deep litter going on. We found ourselves a, a, a roll of hay.
for real cheap. I think it was like 20 bucks for a whole roll or something like that, 25 maybe. Anyway, they wanted 75 for it at the feed and seed, but we looked on Craigslist and we found a guy, a farmer selling some. So um, we've got the hay in here for them to hunt and peck and scratch in and everything like that. And we're using the deep litter method. We've got, it was about six inches when we started, but as they walk around in here, it kind of tramples it down some. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to continue to like that feed trough the way it's set up right now. I may have to put some sort of cover on it or something like that to kind of keep them out of it so they don't crap in it and stuff. But uh, for right now, it, it's serving its purpose um, for what we need. And uh, time will tell if we need to make any modifications to it. But I'm, I'm just trying it out right now uh, to see how it does this. And I, I put some uh, alfalfa scraps from the chickens or no from the rabbit uh bag in there and they just been nibbling on it a little bit of diatomaceous earth that kind of helps if they have worms and stuff like that um which they sometimes do at this age um and you can see these little three red peeps right here underneath the mama those are hers and she has adopted all 30 30 oh what is it 35 34 something like that um, of the other peeps to go along with her little breed. So she's a good mama. She can be a bit of a, a bitty, if you will, um, towards the people that come in here, but only if the kids mess with her chicka peeps. So um, her little chicks are doing really, really well. And the best part about this is since we put in the new roof, the hay will stay nice and dry. So that's what we've got going on here. Um, and thanks for tuning in. If you like my channel, please subscribe.